What have the other guys in the offensive line room meant to you so far through your rookie training camp, like Hugh, Kelly, Braden Smith, even Matt Pryor? I mean, they've been all tremendous so far. I mean, I, I learn from them every single day. Um, and not just football things, but also just how to be a pro and how to be, uh, how to act outside of, you know, the football facilities. Um, because they're all great football players, obviously, but you knew that. But um, they're also really great guys, too. I mean, sitting with them in dinner and then going over practice and what I could have done differently and what I could improve on and stuff. Um, they really try to help me out every day, and it's definitely a, a huge factor in my improvement. Did you think the first preseason game went for you? Um, it was definitely a fun experience. Um, for me to play um, an NFL game, it was, it was you know, um, un undescribable, actually. But um, I love to learn from, you know, made, made some mistakes that um, aren't acceptable. So, um, you know, you go over the film over and over again, you, you learn from your mistakes, and you make sure they never happen again, you just get better for the next time. Do you have some areas, though, you felt like you improved on from practices to the game? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's the little details, um, and that, as I mentioned earlier over there, it's, it's just the, the, the fact that the NFL is unforgiving, that you take one, one wrong step and, you know, the, the guy in front of you makes the play. So it's a little bit different in college, but sometimes you can make up for it. But here it's just, um, you have to be perfect on your assignment and um, on every little detail. So um, that's something you just need to, you know, keep uh, working on, keep improving. And, that's what we'll do. How, how helpful do you think that um, having the Lions in town will be for your development as you keep trying to work on those little things? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I've never um, practiced against another team, so I think it's going to be a huge experience, um, much more game-like, and you get to go against some, some other guys, some new defensive ends, and um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, obviously, they have, they have a good team up there and um, especially their D-line um, is going to be really good this year. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the, the competition. Grow, growing up in Austria, how far away is, how far away did, did this seem? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, when I first started playing football, um, I, I watched the NFL. I went to London to watch the Vikings play the Steelers. Mm -hmm. And it, it looked awesome and I, I wanted to play it. But back then it really seemed like a little too far out of reach. It seemed like a, a dream. And back then, really playing a year of high school football, I thought that was going to be the coolest thing because I get to play on the Friday Night Lights. I get to play in front of a marching band and, you know, like the, the, the whole town would come out. Mm -hmm. and. But then, you know, coming over here and then you, you kind of realize that um, if you just work hard, then college can be in reach too. So um, it's always been a dream, but it kind of happened step step by step for me uh, to all the way to up here. Are there Austrian media following you at all, following your, your path here? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, um, they reach out every once in a while. Um, I think two weeks ago, we even had someone here. Okay. Uh, they did a little report. So that's that's always cool. I mean. Um, I, I try to, you know, um, get the game more and more popular over in Austria too, because uh, there's very there's so many talented guys over there um, that would have a chance um, if they just get more exposure. So I think the game is growing every single year over there, and I think I'm just gonna try to keep pushing that. What? Well, uh, just real quick, as a kid, what sports were you were you interested in? I mean, growing up, you just. Growing up in Austria, you're obviously interested in soccer and then all the winter sports like snowboarding, skiing, um, and hiking and beach volleyball. So um, you you never really, or like when I grew up, I didn't really um, see or hear much about football. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't have football in like free TV back then. Um, but even that's changing. So um, I think this year they're bringing like two or three um, NFL games each weekend, um, which is huge. I mean, I, I, I wish I had that growing up. We always had to either watch the highlights on YouTube or um, log on to my coach's game, NFL Game Pass um, to watch the game. So um, I think it's, it's, you know, it's improving every single year and more and more people are playing football. Is there an area of your game you're trying to improve on the most through the rest of the preseason and training camp? Yeah, I mean, for me, like, um, there are different areas to improve on. And in the run game, just work, keep working on pad level, trying to get underneath guys um, and, you know, really dig them out of, of holes and, um, you know, um, make a path for the running back. And then in the pass game, just keep working on my hands, keep uh, improving my punch. And that's just, you know, one of the little things that I've been working on. Did you have a, you have a moment of solitude after that? 
preseason game to be like, I actually did it, like this thing that was so far off is, is real now? Yeah, I kind of, well, I didn't really think about it, like traveling there and everything, but um, coming out to like warm ups for the first time and running out in the stadium, that's when it really hit me that um, this is something I, I dreamt about for so many years now. And um, it's, yeah, it, it was an unbelievable feeling. And um, I was just so, you know, so thankful to get the opportunity. And yeah, you have, to take, you have to take one lesson from this game to answer your next game. What is that? Um, it's the details. Um, just you know, keep improving on all the, the, the even like the single like first step, um, because that can really cost you or win you the rep. So that's just something I want to keep improving on and to keep working on.